All right, Steve, here's a quick look at the trailer. Apologize for my southern accent. Uh, you can see the lights in the back. I added the LED lights, and the ones on the bottom are the original lights. Um, walking around the trailer, <clears throat> you'll notice I have the spare tire on the front because the front tire went uh, flat. So you'll have a spare tire as well. Uh, marker lights probably should be cleaned up. They're a little dim. Side door. Uh, you open up. You got a little step there. It's got some issues. Um, probably just need your board replaced. Inside the trailer, you can see, and I apologize for the mess, it's ridiculous. Um, the closet, counter space, cabinets, uh, you can put some doors on it pretty easy. We have some fluorescent lighting with 110. We'll plug the outlet in the back. That's a fold down table. That is a toolbox. Again, I apologize for the mess. This has been my storage for the last couple of years. So you got a toolbox with a uh, an under the toolbox storage that does come out if you want it removed. It's pretty quick to, to remove it. Um, back doors, of course. Chemical rack. It's built in. Um, that one probably a little bit harder to remove, but I wouldn't think you would need to. From the chemical rack to the under the toolbox storage is 56 inches in the width. From the back door to that cabinet is 14 and a half feet. I would think that's plenty of room to get two four wheelers, but I would recommend you measure your four wheelers and make sure um, I would stick them <clears throat> in a row and see what the total length is and the total width at the widest point, which may be your tires, depending on the type of tires. The skylight, the original one broke out, um, hence all this is just here. I did put uh, something called a Max Air on the top which allows it to vent without rain getting in. I think occasionally I'll get a drip or two um, but nothing in the trailer is wet. We've had some pretty hard rains lately so that's a great sign. Um, again more lighting, more 110s. It does have some wheel chocks. Um, you can see the carpet is pretty worn just from bringing the dirt bikes in here, oil spills, etc. So the carpet you might want to replace um, if you're into that type of thing or otherwise you can just get it dirty like I did all right the front of the vehicle in front of the trailer it's missing a marker lamp cover I'll see if I can get one of those put on it little things like the trim work here is coming off there's the uh, actual tire the stairs on it Let's see what's going on there it's on um, this is the original color of the trailer. Let me see how glossy it is. The trailer's pretty faded. It's just been sitting here. I haven't done anything to it in a couple years, so uh, a good wax job would probably be in store. Um, this is the other side of it. The wheels and tires are pretty dirty, but get some new tires on there. They'll look nice and shiny, and I'll clean the wheels up for you. There is the Max Air thing I put on top. And I'll see if I can get you a quick view of the top, if I can reach that far. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the top. Any questions, give me a call. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, just let me know. If not, um, I can sell it here probably pretty quick. But if I have somebody that wants it, that I know, then I would rather you have it. So just give me a call or text me if you have any questions. Thanks, Steve.